right? So then I've got all my, my A roll and my B roll and it's also then related to the plan because it's all laid out that same way. All right, so planning a video. Now the first thing you do when you're thinking about your new video is you often think of it in a linear sense. You think of it from the start of the video, how it all plans out to the end of the video. Now this is using agile methodologies to break down your project into uh, chunks that you can then deliver on. All right, so I'm using Trello here, so I'm gonna create a new board. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna create an A-roll column. And then I'm gonna create a, a B-roll column as well, because what'll happen is as I do that, I'm gonna start thinking about what I want as B-roll. Now, I'm also gonna then put columns for each of the cameras that I have. So I've got my 5D. Columns is then filled out based off what I needed to, um, what I needed to shoot and then in the order I needed to shoot them. Let's say I'm doing a video on how to use precision landing on a Mavic Pro. I'm gonna basically start with uh, an intro and then we're gonna go to maybe a little bit of B-roll, uh, setting up Mavic. I'm not gonna write an essay here. Like generally you're talking about dialogue. You don't have to write everything. You just, it's just enough to trigger you so you know what you're gonna say. And then at the same time I'm thinking, okay, well I need a shot of the remote control. So this is just B-roll. That's a bit of B-roll. This is actual content. So this is where I'm actually talking about something. I'm now within that, I'm gonna go, well, I need to show the remote control when I'm, when I'm using it. Ah, right, so now I also need to take a screenshot. See, and that's the whole point, you're triggering these thoughts. You're going and going, ah, I, need, I was thinking just those three cameras, but I actually need to remember to, to take a screenshot or turn on the screen recording when I take off. Right, so then I've got that. So that's kind of, this is, this is my content. This is sort of what I'm gonna present in the video. Right, now, remote control, I'm gonna get that on this one. So remote control. GoPro, these, I put these in order of how I'm going to shoot them. So this is in, in your, your videos in linear, uh, and your B-rolls are all in a linear order. And then you'll probably shoot all the 5D stuff at one stage and then shoot all the GoPro stuff at another stage. Location, because I know that I want B-roll. Like I've set up here, I want to get some B-roll, I want to get some B-roll flying around. So I need to make sure that when I'm flying the Mavic, I remember to get that B-roll. And then I go, well, you know what? The Mavic's got a camera on it. I may as well use that as well. Flying, flying, flying the Mavic. Now, this one I also need to remember. Right, I think that's about it. Now. So the point of this is I'm then looking at each of the columns individually in the order I needed to shoot them. As another example was my intro video. Is it getting dark in here? I think it's getting dark in here. I'm gonna turn some lights on. Is that better? That looks a bit funky. All right, now the thing about your A column is that I wrote that over like a week. So I wrote the first sort of lines, which similar to that other one, whereas it was just a one liner about you know what I wanted that subject, what I wanted that little section of the video to be. From there during the week, I'd sort of think, oh, you know what, what would sound really good is if I said blah, 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 right? So then you'd start to expand on that. So then I knew all my Mavic shots I could do at once, and then all my 5D shots, but I'm doing them separately and doing them in their own chunks. Uh, and then I just sort of, at the same time, as I sort of spent time listening to the music and so on, finding the song I wanted to use, I think I could fill in the details here. And then of course, as you're doing that, you're then planning your kit that you need for the day, and then so you have another column for your kit, the kit that you require. So I thought I knew I needed the Mavic, I knew I needed the 5D, make sure I take the microphones, etc. So then as you shoot stuff, you can then um, flag it as being done, so you know where you're up to. You know, if you have time to do that, you know, that's, that's just a nice to have. Uh, then as you're editing, you're then following that um, that timeline. So you've already got a plan, you know what you want to edit, you know, and you're just going through the list. You know, it's not a matter of trying to find oh, what shots have I got in there, what, when you actually get everything and drag it into, into, um, and drag it into Premiere, you then kind of have everything laid out in a similar way, right? So then I've got all my, my A roll and my B roll, uh, and I've got everything laid out. So then when I'm going through each of them, I know exactly what's there and I can find what I want. Um, and it's also then related to the plan because it's all laid out that same way.
Well, I'm using Trello, but I recommend whatever software you're using, if you use something that's mobile friendly as well, uh, is mobile accessible, because the amount of times you go, oh, that's a great idea, and then if you don't write it down, it disappears. Now, also later on, I'll go into how you can do that in reverse, where you've already shot something, and you've got a whole bunch of content, but it's a big pile of mess, and you want to all get organized. You can do this exact same thing, but in reverse. And that's pretty much it, nice and easy. So uh, give us a like if you like that. Um, drop something in the comments if you've got any other suggestions, any other uh, ideas about how you could approach things, uh, or even just tell me if you like it or not. That's about it. So thanks for dropping by and see you next time.